Hey everyone, welcome to Factoid Friday. Friday. That's right. You got Lauren Neat and Cameron Carter. Howdy, how's it going? Are you ready to get some facts up in your ears? Put them all up in there. You put a little squirming earworm full of facts up in them ears, making house, making home, digging away, getting rid of your cochlea. <laughs> Perfect. Burrowing a little cozy home in cochlea. Making some silk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Make sure it's a silkworm. Those are the coziest. <laughs> Welcome to another fun week uh, where we dispense some uh, facts on your Fridays on your lovely little commute to work. I'm assuming you're working and you're not being a lazy bum. But if you are, <laughs> hey, good for you. Uh, There's time for everything. It's the it's time for everything under the sun, and hopefully you're not waking up too early before the sun's out. <laughs> yeah, Lauren, <clears throat> how's hmm. your depression going with the uh, daylight savings? <laughs> um, it's worse this year. It's so dark outside, and it's so cold. This is the coldest November I've ever experienced in Dallas. Do you agree? Fa- well, yeah. I mean, we're usually guaranteed at least three days of fall. Listen to us talking about the, the weather. weather. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh. oh, fall was only two days long this year. Actually, we didn't get a fall. But we will soon. It'll get warm again. We'll have fall. We'll have fall after winter. It's kind of like one hour of fall, followed by a harsh winter, and then you get fall somewhere in the spring, and then <laughs> somehow fall just transitions into... Summer. Summer. Yeah. I think it was interesting. We had heavy rains the other day and like our power got knocked out. Actually, my wife was hanging out with you that yeah, night. Yeah, we were so at my place. That night was, um, it's interesting. There are these trees that you can see out of the window here. Nice, big, beautiful trees that just kind of cover the window and they had all green leaves and you can usually, you know, get some, sorry, I burped. <laughs> uh, you can usually get some good solid coverage, um, you know, from... It sounds like I'm naked. Uh, you <laughs> what get some do you guys good do in this apartment that you're so worried about privacy and coverage? <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Our little secret. Family <laughs> secret. Anyway, so the leaves are all green. Next day, all green leaves on the ground. Oh. So it's like fall. All in one day. They all, all in one fell. day on the ground now. Yeah. Now they're the color of fall. How is your seasonal depression? It's a light... I hate it. Why do we do this? I don't know. Do you- so we can hibernate and just like, this is why you need a part, like a, a you're lucky you have a wife for mm-hmm. your winter. A partner. Mm-hmm. I, I've got no, no man. So I'm just like, you know, like the last thing you want to do is go outside at 630 when it's dark and like, look cute. Ugh. Does it really matter? What? If we bundle? If like, I bundle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like what? If you're going outside, like. I think it's it's great because you know I'm you know I'm a plus boy size or two you know <laughs> and so like I love it because it's it's like the the cushion hides all my <laughs> you know what I mean and yeah the extra fluff hides your extra fluff yeah and mm-hmm. it's it's just winter's an excuse that's the only thing that kind of counteracts the uh, the depressing drain that usually happens at five twenty now I know. It, well, it is true. All the all the thick layers can hide the emotional eating you're doing because of the seasonal depression. And I know. Then you're good to go. And then you know because it gets darker earlier, then I'm more inclined to watch some telly at night, and then you know just kind of overshadows the uh, simple fact that I may be doing some uh, sad eating. What's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, cry salsa. Cry salsa. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Way way ice cream. <laughs> ice cream uh not so chipper chips yeah. <laughs> um, um uh, cry me a river candy oh yeah uh root beer sink <laughs> oh, gosh uh s- oh. stick your head in the oven freshly baked chocolate chips <laughs> <laughs> oh, what about um nerds <laughs> anyway oh, oh man what i like list i, I think we should create just a listicle podcast where it's nothing but just a back and forth. Like this is going to be 30 minutes of depression food. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a podcast. It could be, but it's too late. Yeah. Sorry. So I got, I got the fact ball this week. Yes. I caught it. 
it's you've yours. tossed it. We're going to the realm of sports. Oh, you I know like me. sports. And you don't care who knows. I don't care who knows. You know, I um, I'm not so much of a uh, sporto, Lauren. You're probably well aware of that. The correct term is sportster. Sportster. So you wouldn't have known that, so. Oh, I, I'm using more of a gendered term, so I'm oh, okay. so sorry. Sporto and sporto. Sportette. No, no, <laughs> sorry, but this, yeah. Sportster is the more mm-hmm. gender neutral. Correct, okay. yes. Good to know. Mm-hmm. Um, so this week, I'm going to be honest with you. I was open up my app to, um, I, I'm going to 100% shift gears because I had two facts and I opened up the fact that I just think is more delightful. And I'll be honest, the tone up top of this podcast was depressing. <laughs> so um, do you know about um, Pokemon? I've heard of it, yes. Okay. So it is um, one of my favorites. It's one of these things that I have tried to hide at certain points in my life. It has brought me as much equal parts um, fun and shame all throughout. Uh, To give you an example there, and I know this just so well, sixth grade, Pokemon gets introduced into my life. Dick Clark, Richard Clark, best friend growing up, gives me a chancy uh, holographic card. That bad boy gets me just sets me on fire just gasoline doused whoosh, like i'm trading i'm playing i'm watching pokemon is just grabbed a root inside my soul yeah being a middle schooler at that time there's just like you you've had things like this like pogs right you were oh yeah i was into pogs you were into in pogs, elementary so, yeah yeah so pokemon's my pox right and but you know that when you're in that late elementary middle school it turns you're obsessed with something, and then next week comes, and it's like... That's not cool. I actually had a summer. So, like, everyone had this, like, summer where they just shook out their cokes. Uh, coats? <laughs> shook out their cokes. <laughs> spread each other. Uh, and got rid of all their Pokemon cards, and they just kind of had this detox over the summer. I wasn't aware of it, because <laughs> I wasn't hanging out with anyone. <laughs> you were um, on your own playing Pokemon. I was on my own Game Boy Color with that little light that goes over the top because they don't have black lit screens. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yes, I know what you're talking you about. You literally had to attach a light to shine on your screen. Anywho, seventh grade rolls around. It's the worst. You sure? And up. I had a full year of undercover... Pokemon love. Po- Pokemon love. You like show up the first day of seventh grade wearing a Pikachu shirt and like have to zip your hoodie all the way oh, up. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. It's like, yeah, they were just, it was all about, I think even girlfriends started in seventh grade. So you, it was, yeah. They were Pokemon detoxing, but they were all having their first kiss underneath the boardwalk. Pretty and much. Or sharing at, cotton candy. Or at least uh, talking up a storm like they were. On AIM? Yeah. yeah. AIM, <laughs> AIM started that year. Mm-hmm. And so, anyway, long story short, a year of that. And then eighth grade hit. And I was like, I should kind of shake this off, but I just couldn't. Um, oh, it was the uh, end of the school year. And my brother was like picking me up or something uh, from high school. I was still in middle school. And we're in the circle drive of my school waiting to be picked up. My brother comes and I got into a little bit of a fight with him or something. And he was like, come on, mom's mom's in the car and like we got to go or something. And I was like, and I was like, no, no, no. And he's like, come on or I'll tell everyone you like Pokemon still. <laughs> and oh, no. I was like, you might as well have just stripped me naked in front of like the world. It's just that shame. Yes. Like loud enough for everyone Absolutely. To hear. And he Aww. knew what he was doing. Of course he was. Dick Wad. <laughs> um, anyway. Did part of you feel like free finally? Like I can I can love this in the open now? Absolutely not. I felt like he just put a <laughs> like shark cage on my soul. <laughs> and just people were just, they were brutal. And just when you thought it died down with everyone, it would like come up like throughout eighth grade years. Like, shut up, Cameron. You still have Pokemon. You want to kiss Pikachu? And I'm like... <laughs> Did you? You did? A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> okay, that's little fair. Peck. Everyone wants to get a, a pokey little, peck. A little pokey peck? <laughs> anyway, so long story short, that wasn't. It's, anyway, long story long, um, I just love it. And it's it's been one of my favorite hobbies, blah, blah, blah. And um, so 
there are Pokemon movies or all this Pokemon gear and games. But this past year, they announced Detective Pikachu. Have you heard of this? No. Do you not? It's a live action movie. You know how they're making live action everything, Power Rangers and all these other movies. Yeah. I was like, okay, big whoop. They're doing a Pokemon movie. This isn't going to be any good. But the trailer dropped uh, yesterday. I'll be honest. It, it's quite awesome. Do you want to? Do you want to see it real quick? Sure, I'll. Okay. I'll watch it. Welcome to Rhyme City, a celebration of the harmony between humans and Pokemon. Tim, your dad was a legend in this precinct. If you were anything like your dad, I'm not. I remember you wanted to be a Pokemon trainer when you were young. Yeah, that didn't really work out. Someone there? Whoever you are, I know how to use this. Oh, jeez. Here we go. I know. You can't understand me, but put down the stapler or I will electrocute you. Did you just talk? Whoa. Did you just understand me? Oh my God, you can understand me. Stop. I've been so lonely. They try to talk to me all the time. All they hear is Pika Pika. Uh, You can hear him, right? Pika Pika. Yeah. Pika Pika Pika, he's adorable. You're adorable. They can't understand me, kid. Can no one else hear him? I don't need a Pokemon. Period. Then what about a world-class detective? Because if wow. you want to find your pops, that is not what I expected. I'm yeah, ne- right? No. Good? Yeah, I think it... it... Oh, it's playing again. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I think it looks like I would actually see it, and I've never wanted to see anything involving Pokemon. Right. So, you know, it's uh, Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. I didn't think he could get any cuter, but exactly. now he's Pikachu. He's Pikachu, right? Ah. You can peek a peck him, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Peek a peek a peck a peck a peck a peck right now. <laughs> um, fun fact for the week is, do you know who some of the other people that were up for the role of uh, Pikachu? No. I want you to take a few guesses. A few guesses. Okay. Um, Robert Downey Jr.? No. That's a good guess. Okay. Um, someone feisty and like cute. Okay, you're um, you're in the ballpark. Okay, what about Chris Pratt? Ooh, okay, so you got you got some good keep, keep you're like in the ballpark here with some Meryl Streep. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. No. Um, uh, oh gosh, I suddenly have forgotten every human's name. Okay, so what was uh, in the last podcast we did in episode on a Disney movie that you really loved? Oh, The Rock. Yeah. Dwayne. Yeah, The Rock's Dwayne Johnson. <laughs> Dwayne. So he was originally going to be, I think, the the voice of Pikachu, which is mm-hmm. night and day different. But people started to get wind of the different voices that are out there that were going to be the official voice of Pikachu in this first live action movie of a company that's been around for 20 years, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so this is a big deal. Like this is a huge company. And I mean, this is like an associate affiliate of Nintendo, whatever. Uh, but apparently there was a petition that got some heavy momentum to get Danny DeVito to be the voice <gasps> of Pikachu. Uh uh-uh. uh. That would have been awesome. Exactly. Oh my gosh. So I love Danny DeVito and hate him in equal parts. But the idea apparently, uh, the petition gained, uh, 40,000 signatures. Uh, but unfortunately, Danny DeVito didn't know who Pikachu was and declined. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. I know. He doesn't even know who Pikachu I mean, I don't know Pokemon at all, but I know Pikachu. I mean, you know enough. I mean, is Pikachu the only one you know? Uh, there's a Squirtle and a Charizard. And, and who's the third? Pikachu. Okay, yeah. <laughs> all three Pokemon. Yeah. Squirtle, Charizard, and Pikachu. Those are the Catch them all. It's really easy. <laughs> the only three I know. Right. Um, Charmander. Charmander. And four. Four. I so know four. So then who's Charizard? Oh. 
is it Charmander's brother? <laughs> I love the lore. <laughs> How do they know each other? Like they're from the Char family. They're from the the Grand Char family. Yes, the Grand Chars. Um, bit of the uh, they like it roasty toasty. Oh, okay. Lines up with what I know of the Chars. Uh, Manchesterian like family from you know old England, and then you have the the Squirtles that are to be married. <laughs> Or maybe perhaps kind of a Romeo Juliet fire and water type situation. Yeah, the Squirtles. <laughs> I cannot not giggle when I say Squirtle. That's sound. Yeah, yeah the Squirtles are from you know downriver. Downriver. And, um, yeah. Makes them sound kind of backwater. They are. Oh. They come from. They're like they have to earn everything that they get. You know, right. unlike the Chars, who are like a Bayou family, maybe more or less of a um, English, but more of a kind of Louisiana kind of royalty. Like, yeah, this backwater boy named Squirtle really wants to get with Charmander. Yeah, you know what I mean. Charmander is this beautiful young Brit <laughs> that <laughs> come over to Louisiana. That come over to Louisiana. Yeah, it was love at first, Squirt. <laughs> you know what? <clears throat> this is not that kind of podcast. You know that, right? I know. I'm sorry. Out the gate. I'm sorry. Um, I'm just trying to make po- Pokemon sexy, and I don't know how. If you were to make a Pokemon sexy, <laughs> what would I do? Like, um, I don't know. Squirtle. Okay, let's put Squirtle aside because that's just too easy. Yeah, because he's already sexy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> I mean, he's, he's he's slick. He's kind of got is that. Is he the turtle looking one? He's the turtle looking guy. Okay, just and, making sure. Um, turtles. I mean, just look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja. I, yeah. I don't mean to say any teenage whatever is sexy, but. <laughs> Watch out. You know. Yeah, they're definitely like the most attractive reptile. You think so? Oh, they're amphibians, aren't they? Uh, I'm going to have to say a hard no on that. Uh, Are you sure they live in water? I am literally a biologist, so I can say that with some authority. Okay. Well, Um, I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, thank God. (laughs) I'm walking around confused. (laughs) Move aside. (laughs) Uh, Okay, reptile. mm -hmm, So reptile. Sexiest Um, reptile. But snakes. 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 As creepy as they can be. They're quite sexy. They can be very sexy. They're very slippy. They're slippy. They got that. It's just snakes, sexy. They just like they'll just. Where do alligators fall on the alligators? Sex scale try for, too hard. They're yeah. like, look at me, look at me. I'm a hot alligator. And then what about crocs? Crocodiles are like they're a little more, more sexy. I would say they're kind of like the dirty white trash of the ga- of the alligator, like. Like, like um, your cousin who's kind of a stripper, but she's still hot. I was going to say like the Matthew McConaughey in, in like mud. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like he's just kind of like a little dumb, but he's got he's got a little bit of rugged sexiness to him. Right. Like a I good, guess like all a of good his... old boy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, I, so Crocs are, you know, and, and I don't know why it's a, it, like Australian and, and just kind of like imagine a croc with a Australian accent. That's that's just nothing but sexy oh, yeah. fun there. That's great. Like, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Alligators, yeah, they're just green and gross. Yeah. To me, I like alligators are like the frat boy of the reptiles. Yeah. And then a crocodile is like the like down, like the Don't the know. rugged <laughs> bad boy of the crocodile. Of the reptile. Yeah. He's the one that's going to like, you know, you never know what he's thinking, but he can fix your car. Oh, yeah. But he's like. He looks, knows what a carburetor actually is. Yeah. yeah. That's the crocodile. He like bent over the car in nice like tight jeans, like croc but tights. He's got tiny little hands, so he needs help. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, I dropped my ranch <laughs> in the car. Pick it up for me, would you, dear? No, I got it. <laughs> Stretching out those Levi's beyond their limits. Yeah. Oh, uh, man. I would love to see a croc in Levi's. That's just too easy to picture. <laughs> it's so cute. Wearing crocs. Oh. <laughs> okay, now your turn. What about a, uh, a iguana? That's actually pretty good, too. Mm-hmm. I mean, lizard. Oh, lizards. Let's get into lizard territory. There's a lot. Lizard, there are a lot of lizards. That's what they say. That's what they say in my field. <laughs> um, 
There are um, horny totes. Too easy. Yeah, it's too easy. <laughs> Strangely, okay. Not as sexy, but still sexy. But toads aren't lizards. But it's not an actual toad, my friend. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Tell me more, doctor. Tell me more. Tell me more. <laughs> you want me to tell you what he was like? Yeah. Was okay. it love at first sight? What's happening? Um, uh, I, so horny toads, a little dry, a little bit of a dry sense of humor. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Just because deserts and dry. but um, They're like tired of your jokes and yeah. they're done. So they're dry. Yeah. And then you got kind of like Komodo dragons who are kind of like the the buff like gym, but not like douchebag. Like I'm just going to hit it because I just like hitting the gym like a a health conscious mm-hmm. meathead. Right. Like someone that when they hit the gym, they will 100 percent of the time wipe down the equipment. Like, That's Yeah, I respect that guy. Yeah. I still don't want to like hang out with him, but like I respect him. Right. Um. And I'm trying to think what iguanas. I'm sorry, iguanas. What are you thinking? You got a little bit of a smile. I don't know. I feel like iguanas are like the surprising kind. Like you, you, they're never exactly what you expect. You think that they're like innocent and sweet, and then like bam, they're a different color. They're like no, that's a chameleon. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I remember I had an iguana once and his tail fell off and it was very shocking. Oh my gosh. I thought I knew him and then he literally departed part of his body and I was left holding a a wiggly tail with no iguana on it. So they're very surprising. They're shocking. Sexy little buggers. Like how big of a chunk of tail are we talking? Like the The very end? No. The whole tail. In a moment of panic, an iguana will detach his tail i don't understand how it works yeah learned that the hard way man i threw it away in the trash can because i don't know what else to do with his oh. tail <laughs> do i bury it <laughs> and it wiggled for like <laughs> 10 minutes oh that is nasty i know that happens know. with like geckos but it's just like the idea of like that something that big we sound really backwater right now <laughs> <laughs> Where did we start with this? We started with Pokemon. And we we're talking about Squirtle. We we're talking about the sexiest Pokemon? The sexiest Pokemon. Because we we're already thinking sexy Danny DeVito. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just naturally, you're like, anywho, land of make pretend? Mm hmm. Okay. We now take you to <laughs> pretend make land. Beep, pop, boop, pop, boop, beep, pop, boop, pop, beep, pop, boop, pop, beep, pop, boop, pop, beep, pop, boop, pop, beep, pop, boop, beep, Bing bong bing, beep pop boop, beep pop beep pop boop pop beep, beep pop beep, beep pop boop, boop la leep pop, beep beep. Now we go to a veterinary clinic. Um, Fido, just calm down a little bit. Um, uh, hi, yes, this is Fido. Um, he's a little miniature schnauzer. Uh, he's my little guy. Um, but, uh, we had a 12 appointment. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, give me just a second. Fido? Fido? Like. He's a little frisky. You're not going to calm him down. It's just don't. It's fine. Okay, cool. Um, let me check my computer. Okay, perfect. That's cool. So why don't you guys just like take a seat and I'll get the doctor. Uh, you, okay, the doctor. They call him doc. Okay, that's fine. We'll we'll just go uh, hang hang tight over here for a little bit. Yeah, that'd be great. Gosh, he's gone. Been gone for a while. He's just. I, I get it's waiting. Oh, hi. Hi, I'm Dr. Deborah, and I'm actually the doctor as well as the receptionist. So, oh, um, if you don't mind, could you just follow me really quick to the back? So where did where did you go? Why didn't you? <laughs> why didn't? Well, every I needed to get in my wardrobe change. I had to change, you know. So you were in scrubs. I, I, you were in scrubs. I, I mean, that should have been fine. You're now wearing a white coat, but. Well, but that's right. I didn't have my white coat, so I had to go back and get it. Okay, so I, I guess we're good. Um, yeah. Okay, I, come on, Fido. Does here. it make Should... sense now? Okay. They go to the back room, and Dog is on the exam table. Your dog's, like, really cute. Like, 
It's a cute dog. I think you, I mean, I totally agree. He's just, just my little guy, you know? And yeah. I, I try to take very good care of him, you know, try to make sure that we give him a protein rich, meat hearty diet. Oh, yeah. Because um, it's like really good for your figure and stuff, you know? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, does he have a good figure? I mean, he seems kind of. <laughs> What? I mean, he's like a dog. So, like, what, what kind of like figure can he have? <laughs> oh, oh, I mean, you're the you're the veterinarian. You should be able to tell me. Like, yeah. is this? He's like, uh, if I was a girl dog, I'd be like, hot stuff. That dog's hot. Sure. I mean, I'm not really looking to like breed or like anything like that. It's it oh doesn't really gosh. matter if he's hot. You should like totally should breed your dog. Like, totally. He is a stud. Oh my gosh. I've got, I don't tell this to all my patients, but I have this friend and she's got like the cutest dog. And like, I could totally hook this up. We now take you to uh, the friend's house that's got the dog. Hi. 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 Um, my name's Shirley. And you must be Chris, and this must be Fido. It is. Oh my! Well, do you want to meet my little bitch? Uh, I is that the name of your? Well, I just call her Lil for short, but uh-huh. her full name is Lil Bitch. Okay. Yeah, she's she is so she's so funny. I hate her so much. I love her so much. I hate her. She's you great. Bear a striking resemblance to someone I've. You, you know what? Never mind. Never mind. Okay. Cool. Um, Whatever. Um, you weren't at the. At the what? No. No. Okay. Never mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, come on, Fido. Come on. Come so on, come yeah. Inside. So this is little bitch. Little little bitch. Um, you can just call her Lil for short, though. Like I know it's. Is that more kind of a term that you'd? Pre- well, it's like she's mine, so I can call her that. But like, but yeah, like step off. You know what I mean? So yeah, I get that. So I'm new to this. I'll be honest. Uh, my dog is just kind of like someone told me. Uh, yeah, Doctor Deb. Do- yeah, yeah, yeah mm-hmm. you, you know who? Um, yeah, it was rather odd. She said I had a very sexy hot dog, which is totally. uh, <laughs> a hot dog. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but um, <laughs> what happens now? Well, now, like, I think the best thing to do um, is it just kind of put them. Yeah, like I think we should strike the mood, though. You know, like maybe I've got um, a really like sexy that- CD I can put on. Oh, I see you got some seal there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Kissed by a Rose. That's, that's her favorite and my favorite, actually. Yes. So I'm going to go put that on really quick. Um, how do you feel about, like, wine? Do you want some wine? Like, I mean, for a dog, dog, like, dog wine? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I don't know did, if dogs should have, uh, should, can dogs have wine? They, they can, but, like, sometimes, you know, they, I just put water in a wine bottle and pour it in her bowl, and she like thinks it's wine. She oh, okay, it's that's wine. That's so fine. that's what I call wine. So would he like some wine too? Put it. In, I put it in a fancy cup so they can feel fancy. It kind of looks. I, I can kind of get it. They're really kind of getting at it right now. Yeah, it's they're into kinda, each other. I, they're feeling it. I would, can kind of get that. Would you like some wine? Uh, do you only have? Do you only have these kind of bowls? I don't like to make her feel different from me. So, like, you know, I'll drink from her bowl. She drinks from my cup. Like, it's just a real, like, fluid relationship we have. Yeah, you're really... Oh, okay. Here's some wine. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) Never had wine out of a dog bowl. (laughs) I'm full of surprises. (laughs) Gosh. Just like this one. (laughs) Rips off her her ponytail to reveal that she's actually Dr. Deb. Oh, hey, Dr. Deb. <laughs> hey. You know, I th- I kind of thought it was you. <laughs> well, that about does it for this episode of Factoid Friday. Uh, if you've liked what you've heard, how about you give us some likes on iTunes? Click on that iTunes app and then just drop some, uh, I don't know, you could add in a fun fact and perhaps we may even read that fun fact in your review. You can give us one star review. Wouldn't like that. Drop a fact. We'd still read it. Uh, prefer them five stars. So anyway, I feel like a dumb YouTuber now asking for all this stuff. But anyway, definitely subscribe and uh, yeah, 
Check us out next week for another fun edition of Factoid Friday. Friday.